This video will cover the topic, solving a radical equation that simplifies into a linear equation. What is a radical equation? Good question. A radical equation is an equation that contains a radical, or square root, in it. Remember that squaring a radical will cancel out the radical sign. So to solve a radical equation, we want to simplify it into a linear equation by squaring both sides of the equation to get rid of the radical sign. Oh, okay, this seems to all make sense. Can we try out an example problem? Definitely. In this problem, we are asked to solve for v in the radical equation square root of 2v plus 13 equal to the square root of 5v plus 7. What should we do first? Our first step is to square both sides of the equation, which will cancel out the radical from both sides of the equation. Doing so, our equation will now look like this. Now that there are no radicals in this equation, we can use algebraic manipulation to solve for v. We want to make sure that all the values containing v are on the same side of the equation. We can do so by subtracting 5v from both sides of the equation. Next, we want to move 13 to the other side of the equation by subtracting both sides of the equation by 13. Our last step is to isolate v by dividing both sides of the equation by negative 3. Doing so, we have found our final answer. Let's try out another problem. In this problem, we are asked to solve for x in the radical equation square root of 7x plus 3 equal to the square root of 17. Our first step is to square both sides of the equation, eliminating the radical sign. Next, we want to isolate x to one side of the equation by subtracting 3 from both sides of the equation. Finally, we want to divide both sides of the equation by 7, giving us our final answer of 2. Oh, okay. I think I understand what's going on here. But just to be sure, let me go over what I have learned. To solve a radical equation that simplifies into a linear equation, it is important to remember that squaring a radical will eliminate the radical. By squaring both sides of a radical equation, we can eliminate the radical sign allowing us to use algebraic manipulation to solve for our unknown variable. That all sounded right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher.